So you're in the market for a used Mac laptop, but you don't have a lot of money. So stick around because I'm going to show you what I think is one of the best values in the used Mac laptop market today. All right, hang tight. Here we go. All right, guys. So what you have in front of you is this very cool mid-2010 model. That's right. This was released in 2010 uh, MacBook, and it's a model A1342. Now, before you laugh me off the camera and say this is obsolete technology, there's a few minor modifications you can make to this MacBook, which will still give you lots of years of use out of it and not necessarily break the bank. Now, the reason why I'm going to feature this MacBook on the channel is because you can pick these up used now on eBay for under $200, and that even includes the 2.4 gigahertz model. Now, considering that this laptop was a thousand bucks when it was brand new I'd say that's a pretty good value for your money especially when you see everything that it has to offer you all right so now let's go ahead and move on to the specifications what do you need to know about it so again like I said this is the model a 1342 uh, MacBook or sometimes referred to as the mid 2010 unibody MacBook um, it is currently well from the from the factory it came with either two or four gigabytes of RAM but it is upgradable to 16 gigabytes and I'll show you the website where you can order that now I'm not sponsored by that company but I've been buying parts of them for quite a while and it is an absolute absolutely awesome Mac. You've got 64-bit uh, software that is supported. It does take current Mac updates on the OS as well as all the programs that you're going to be running on it. Uh, let's just go ahead and get right into the, uh, the physical description. What do you need to know about it? Well, mechanically, it is very, very similar to the first-gen MacBook Pro that came out at the just slightly after this model uh, was released, well, about the same time. And in terms of the actual design, it's very sleek weighs uh, 4.7 pounds. Now it's a little bit different from those first model run MacBooks that came out. Those had kind of a two-piece construction and they basically just fell apart as they were used. Um, on the side you've got your Ethernet connector, you've got your MagSafe, I believe a 60 watt adapter hookup. You've got your video out port which does require a special adapter in order for you to hook it up and there are uh, these video out to, you, to HDMI adapters that you can buy for it. It's got uh, two USB 2.0 parts, ports, so you are running a little bit older technology. You got your headphone jack, you've got your lock device, then over here on this side, we've got a CD player, CD-ROM, DVD burner, DVD drive, which makes it very viable. Um, one of the things that you don't have on this that you sometimes see on other Mac laptops is you have the status light for your battery. There's nothing on here to tell you how much battery power that you have left while it's charging. Uh, it's just simply lifting up the lid and taking a look. You do have a little sleep light on the front though, which also can tell you that the, the Mac is actually in sleep mode or if it's turned on or turned off. You do have full access to the bottom, which is the removal of eight screws. Uh, what's really cool about that is you do have access to the hard drive, you have access to the RAM as well as the battery. Replacement batteries for this are about $35 on eBay. It kind of depends on what kind of quality you want to go with as well as the number of watt hours. Now, when we bought this, like I said, we paid 400 bucks for it when we bought it back in 2014. It was actually a refurbished model that was being sold from another company on eBay but it came with a Mac Care plan. It had the hard drive replaced, replaced as well as the battery by Apple. So we were essentially buying a, a refurbished MacBook that was in almost like new condition when we got it. The case was in fantastic condition. Uh, one of the cons to this model is you don't have a backlit keyboard, so that's something you're going to be giving up. But the fact that you can get into one of these for 180 bucks, it, it'll, it'll definitely help that kind of person that's going to be on a budget that wants to do their work on a Mac. You do have the glass trackpad, which is really nice. And uh, like I said before, under the hood, it's, it's very similar to the MacBook Pro. Uh, same video card. You've got you know, similar internal components, same features. One of the main differences between this and the MacBook Pro is the, the aluminum construction or the, you know, the one-piece uh, metal construction of the body of the MacBook Pro, as well as the uh, SD card reader on the left-hand side. Now, I actually have a MacBook Pro, and it's my daily computer that I use in my classroom. I think I have a, a 2012 model, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but I got to be honest with you guys, when you put 16 gigs of RAM in this thing and swap out the hard drive for a 7400 RPM model, you've got a model that essentially runs just as quick as a MacBook Pro. Now, in terms of the Octane score, you're only going to be running 11,761, which is really nothing to write home about. I mean, there's Chromebooks that have a higher Octane score, but when you look at the actual usability and what the RAM upgrade does for it, it's amazing how, how quick this thing is and how fast it can run compared to my MacBook Pro, which is years newer. Now, in terms of actual battery life, when I charge it up from full, I'm able to get five to six hours of use out of it. Uh, sometimes I do Google Hangouts that last hours at a time, and I can usually get, you know, four to five hours going that route, running the camera, which you do have up here, as well as uh, having the video, the, the screen turned up to a higher level of brightness. Uh, when you replace the battery, you're looking at seven to ten hours, which is awesome, but the fact that you can replace the battery means that you can still get a lot of usability out of it. Uh, with your browser, you know, you're running all of your updated software and browsers and so on, and uh, if you're somebody that 
that runs in Chrome and you want something that runs in Drive and you're using Google Docs and slides and so on. No problems here, runs just fine. Whether you want to create new documents or there's things that you want to uh, share and so on, okay? Uh, as for YouTube itself, it'll run videos with no problems at all. Now my wife is streaming some video downstairs so there's a chance that this might be running a little bit, uh, little bit low, a little slow. Speakers are fine for one room, no problems there. And as you can see, you can go full screen with no issues whatsoever. Turn the volume down just a little bit. We go to my channel, you can check out one of my videos. Spools right up. So I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you, I would personally rather go this route, say instead of a Chromebook, if you just need an entry level machine and you just wanna work on the internet just to get some work done. Um, again, now we were, when we were running this, it had, I believe either four or eight gigs of RAM. I believe it was only four gigs of RAM and it ran fine. I mean, it would boot up quickly and it wasn't very glitchy and it didn't have too many issues. Um, but when we put the 16 gigs in it, that made all the difference in the world. Now, the cool thing about this is again, if you're in on a budget, you can get on the, you can get into one of these machines for less than 200 bucks and then you can take your time and upgrade it as your budget allows. The one catch about the 16 gigs of RAM, and I'm not trying to hide this from anybody, it is a $165 upgrade. Now you're going to say, why on earth would you spend 16 gig or spend that kind of money on 16 gigs worth of RAM when you spend almost as much on the MacBook itself, especially if you buy one now? Again, it's just when we purchased the RAM at the time, it was the best way we could keep using the machine for a couple more years, and we didn't realize that we'd still be able to use it all the way into 2018. Uh, 2016, the wife had finished up her graduate studies and got everything done, and at that point, we were still able to use the computer. So for the money, it is a great value. Hard drives will run you, oh, I don't know, 100 bucks for a 500 gig, 7200 RPM model, which you can buy easily off of eBay. Plenty of tutorials online to show you how to do it. This one even came with the original software, so we were able to uh, restore it to its original settings. Uh, just check out the, the New York Times website. Just for the fact, I just want to show you the uh, how quickly the, uh, the images load on it. And it runs fine, it doesn't really lag a whole lot. Uh, it's totally usable. Now, if you're a power user, if you're somebody that's used to having the best of this or that, or you know, you've got the new MacBook Air, or the new MacBook Pro, you know, that's that's not the intention for buying a used machine like this. This might be somebody who's a student or somebody who's in college for the first time. You want something inexpensive that's going to work. I don't really hear about reliability problems with these like I do with the old MacBooks. Uh, when I was a teacher, well, I'm still a teacher, but the high school that I'm at. We were using the uh, older MacBooks and they ran well, but they had some heat issues and some battery issues and some motherboard issues as time went on. Uh, this one's been solid. And like I said, we've been using it for four years now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, with no problems. And my wife uses it daily. The screen is nice and bright. Let's go ahead and get that resolution information for you real quick here. Now it does have a uh, NVIDIA GeForce 320M uh, video card, which has, I believe, 256 megabytes of system memory for video, which is really nothing to write home about. Uh, as for the screen itself, it's a 13.3 inch glossy screen, which has a 1280 by 800 resolution. Now the thing about the video card, the video RAM itself, I believe that it only uh, is, is able to use that card if you plug it into an external display, in which case it does give you a 2560 by 1600 um, max resolution, which for some people is going to be more than more than enough, especially if you want to run this thing, say, through a projector or you've got some sort of a external uh, monitor that you want to use with it. The stock hard drive itself was just a 5400 RPM, 250 gig model. But again, the super drive is great because it allows you to uh, burn DVDs if you still go that route or make your own CDs, run iTunes, no problems. Uh, 4.7 pounds. Now the dimensions itself, it's 9.12 by 13 inches by 1.08 inches. And uh, again, the weight is 4.7 pounds. The battery is a 63.5 watt hour battery. And again, there's still full support for, for lots of parts available online if you ever need to do any, any work on it yourself. If you're somebody who's kind of handy with one of these machines, uh, consider going that route. So again, guys, I just wanted to bring this laptop to you today to show you, I mean, like I said, I use it in my classroom. I have students that'll use it as a backup machine if they need to do their coding programs. I'm also a computer science teacher as well as a Spanish teacher. Uh, we're able to work with the Android Studio. We're able to work with, uh, we're able to do Swift programming on it with no problems whatsoever. Code Academy, I mean, it, it runs all those apps just fine. Now, as for power programs like, say, iPhoto, um, iMovie and so on. It's a little bit laggy. It's a little bit slow. Probably not a video processing powerhouse. You can still make videos on it and presentations if you need to. Um, at that point, I would almost say go for a MacBook Pro. Now, I know 
when it's all said and done, by the time you buy one of these and buy the RAM upgrade and buy the hard drive upgrade, you probably could have just bought yourself a MacBook Pro. And that's fine. Go that route if that's the route that you want to go. You know, pick yourself up a used one. But again, the whole point of the video is just to show you what you can get in on on a budget and just how nice they really are. Um, they are very well built machines. Even though they're old, they have aged well. And uh, again, it still has a fairly modern design in my opinion. Uh, again, one piece plastic design, which is not going to chip. Occasionally you can get some hairline cracks around some of the ports, but that just kind of depends on how rough you are. Uh, we did spend uh, 15 bucks, let me grab it here. And we just picked up an, an eye pearl two piece cover for it that we just put on there and that basically takes care of it. And that protects the corners and the edges and so on. It's got a few little scuff marks on it, but when we got it from the factory, it was basically brand new. So there you go, guys. Again, this is the mid 2010 model. This is the unibody MacBook with the 2.4 gigahertz processor. If you're gonna buy one, go that route, get it with the 2.4 gigahertz processor. It's worth maybe the 20, $30 premium. That you're going to pay over the slower processors. You know, some of these even come preloaded with a lot of software, and that's another option for you. If you get it, you might already have it with Microsoft Office or other programs on it. Now, there's legality behind that. I'm just saying that you can find them with that on there. Technically, you're supposed to, I believe, reload the software with your own copies if that's the route that you go. Um, but anyway, the whole point is, is that you can find them. They're great deals, and I kind of wish I would have had something like this when I was in college because for the money, man, you just cannot go wrong. And the screen is very crisp, it's very bright. Uh, you probably can't tell from here, but it is a wonderful screen. It gets nice and bright. Um, I'm able to do all a lot of my YouTube uh, videos on here with it. I can run them with no problems and do hangouts and things like that. So anyway, I've talked enough. That's enough. I just want to give you some basic information on it. So again, mid-2010 MacBook Pro, consider picking one up. I'm sorry, mid-2010 MacBook, unibody MacBook. Great model. Um, as for the RAM itself, let me just go ahead and bring that up on the screen real quick, and I'll share it with you. And I'll let you know if you get one, the upgrade you should get. Do make sure you got the 2.4 gigahertz processor though. You have to know that. You can check that under your settings up here just by clicking on the Apple and then going into about this Mac and uh, it'll tell you what you're running for your processor. So this is just proof that I actually have the 16 gigs right here. All right, so we've got 16 gigabytes of 1067 megahertz DDR3 RAM. It's got your video card info and the 2.4 gigahertz Intor Intel Core 2 Duo. You can't run the 16 gigs on anything other than the 2.4 gigahertz processor. So real quick, let me go ahead and bring up that website and uh, we'll go from there. I'll show you what that what that looks like and uh, we'll call it we'll call it good. So all right, hang tight. And again, I'm not endorsed by this company. I'm just saying this is one of the best upgrades you can make. And this is a great place to go for parts. If you're kind of unsure if you should buy used parts on eBay or you just don't want to take any chances, you go to MacSales.com, which actually takes you to Otherworld Computing Incorporated. Uh, you're going to click on Memory, go to MacBook. And then we've got the 26 to 2010 MacBook 13-inch uh, model. It says up to 16 gigs of memory. And it will take up to a 2 terabyte hard drive internally, which is awesome. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz and you can also put a solid state drive in it too so if you put a 7200 rpm uh, hard drive or solid state drive you're gonna have yourself a little mini scorcher so we've got the 16 gig upgrade kit and this is custom made by maxsales.com by other world computing apple never actually offered this uh, 654 reviews, five stars, 164.99. The thing is, you get into one of these for 200, you drop 164 bucks, or yeah, another 164 bucks into, and you've got a very good usable machine. Now I know you can pick up a used MacBook Air for that price, but if you want a nice full-size typing experience, writing experience, larger screen, uh, you really can't beat it. There's always something better out there, and I just don't want to argue that with anybody. I get it. Uh, it does get you two eight gigabyte uh, PC8500 DDR3 strips of RAM which you can check out any videos on YouTube. They show you how to install it. It's very simple to do. And they do will show you some of the additional parts that you can get too. So that's at maxsales.com. Definitely a must have if you get the 2.4 gigahertz model. All right, let's finish up with a few final thoughts and uh, we'll go from there. All right guys, so as you know, this channel is all about finding you your best value for the money when it comes to buying uh, new gear or used gear out there that lets you just keep doing the work that you're doing and not have to break the bank in the process. So again, the mid-2010 model, uh, unibody MacBook, I highly recommend it. Get the model with the 2.4 gigahertz processor. I've said that about a dozen times. Uh, really hard to beat this value and it's just overall great. Considering that it's basically a MacBook Pro of the same year under the hood, you know, you really can't go wrong. So, and again, I have not heard a lot about reliability issues with these in terms of, you know, batteries or motherboards and so on. Uh, oh, and the other thing, the typing, I guess I didn't mention that. The typing is fine. The keyboard's full size. Comfortable keyboard to type on. It's very similar to, uh, to a MacBook Pro if you're used to that. 
Um, otherwise, just, yeah, it's easy to work on. It's just like any other keyboard that's out there. I don't know about the, the depth of keys. They're fine. So you can type quickly on it with no issues. So there you go. So that's it, guys. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for checking this out, the mid-2010 model unibody MacBook. Uh, guys, i got a lot more videos uh, coming down the wire for you, so make sure that you like or subscribe. If you have any questions or any comments, please post them at the bottom of this video, and I'd love to talk to you. I love chatting with my viewers. I'm always good to, to, to leave comments and feedback uh, for you guys when you do so for me too. So there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. I want you to have fun. I want you to be safe. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye.